Well, you know, I think there, the, the Dow has had some important tailwinds. The global macro data has been improving really since the since the fall. You obviously have uh, earnings have rebounded. You know, we went through a tough patch where earnings were negative because of oil and the dollar. Earnings year over year are going to be positive. You mentioned that. And then finally, we've got the effect of Trumponomics, which certainly we know the direction, more fiscal, more infrastructure. Um, and, and all of that, I think, make, makes sense. I think on a going forward basis, we're at a late stage in the business cycle. We're close to full employment. And so there's an issue about how much of Trumponomics moves inflation versus real, real growth. But I think equi the move in equities makes sense. I think the risk right now, Sarah and Mike, is there is some execution risk this year. There are a lot of moving parts in doing tax legislation, let alone immigration and trade. Um, and so it may be a while before we actually have some resolution on what this is all going to look like. But the direction is clearly positive. Yeah, Rich, in terms of the things moving in the, in the right direction as far, the mar as far as the markets are concerned, you see on a bunch of fronts, whether it's inflation rising but from low levels, interest rates rising but not yet pinching uh, kind of businesses or consumers, uh, even oil prices kind of in a comfortable range, where do you think the thresholds are where any of those things start to pinch and start to become more threats than friendly? Well, you know, I think that, Mike, the, big, the biggest risk right now is that we've had four or five years where inflation has been surprising on the downside. If it surprises on the upside to the point that it engages the Fed to get much more hawkish, then I do think it begins to change the, the calculation. You've got, as you mentioned, you've described really a Goldilocks scenario, uh, more rapid growth, gradual lift off in rates. If we get adverse inflation shock and, and the Yellen Fed gets more hawkish, uh, then that is a risk. Obviously, geopolitically and especially the U.S.-China relationship longer term is also going to be uh, a risk. But I would also point out we've got a big transition at the Fed. There are two vacancies at the Fed. Chair Yellen, Vice Chair Fisher's terms are up next year. And so we talk about the Supreme Court, but President Trump is probably going to fill most, if not all, of the Fed yeah. seats over the next couple of years. I wonder what's going to happen. Is the Fed meetings a risk? Is there a risk of a, a Yellen Trump showdown? He's already <laughs> voiced his concern about a strong dollar. Is this something that investors should be a little nervous about? Well, I, I will say it's a great point, Sarah. It's been a long time. I can't remember the last time you had a president weigh in on the value of the dollar. So this is a new wrinkle in currency markets. No, I don't think we see a showdown between uh, Yellen and President uh, uh, Trump. If we, she, she certainly won't admit it. I don't think she's following the tweets. But as I mentioned, you know, the Fed is in a liftoff mode. Uh, they are alert to the fact that you're going to be getting some stimulus in the economy at this point. And so I think the Fed is certainly in play uh, this year. Uh, but I don't really see a showdown with, with, with Trump, no. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.